Did you know that your skin can be a roadmap to understanding your health, especially when it comes to diabetes? Spotting early signs on your skin can be the key to catch diabetes sooner and prevent bigger problems. Hello and welcome back to Dr. Solar channel. I am Dr. Fatima and today we are going to talk about the skin signs of diabetes and how understanding them can be a game changer for your health. So stay with me, let's go. First off, let's talk about what diabetes really is. Imagine that your body is like a car. For a car to run, it needs fuel. In our bodies, the fuel is glucose, which is a type of sugar. And insulin is something in our body that helps our cells to get the glucose and use it. And diabetes happens when there is not enough fuel pumping insulin in our body, or there is enough insulin, but our body cannot use it properly. Now you might wonder, why are we talking about the skin when we are discussing diabetes? Well, your skin can often act as a window to your internal health. All right, now let's see what these skin presentations are. The first one is called diabetic dermopathy. These are harmless scaly patches, which are light brown or pinkish in color. They are often seen on the front of both of your legs and sometimes are called shin spots. Think of your blood vessels as tiny hoses. Diabetes can cause weak spots in these tiny hoses, and it can make it hard for blood to flow smoothly and cause these brown spots on your skin, especially the skin of your legs. And it's just like a lawn gets brown spots when it doesn't get enough water. These spots mostly don't need any special treatment and they will fade by time. However, if you keep your blood sugar levels steady, it can help these spots fade much faster. The next skin condition is called acanthosis nigricans. It is a condition where the skin becomes dark and thick, especially in the folds of your skin, like the neck, armpits, and groin. It has a velvety texture. I already told you that in some people, diabetes happens because there is a lot of insulin in the body, but the body cannot use it. And when there is a lot of insulin in your body, it tells your skin cells to grow fast. This rush in the growth can make the skin in areas like your neck folds and your armpits to become thicker and darker and kind of velvety. This skin problem can be mainly resolved by addressing the insulin resistance. And how do you address insulin resistance? Well, by having a healthy diet, exercising a bit, and taking your medications on a proper basis. The next sign that we are going to talk about is digital sclerosis. It can cause the skin on the back of your head, your forehead, and your toes to become stiff and thick. Picture sugar as the sticky stuff. When there is too much sugar in our blood, it makes our skin, especially at the back of our hand, very stiff and thick. The best thing that you can do to treat this condition is to get your blood sugar levels under control. It will soften your skin over time. Out of other conditions that can happen to people with diabetes is bacterial and fungal infection. Germs love sugar, just like ants love spilled soda. So if our blood has too much sugar, it can attract germs and let them grow. Fungal infections usually appear as itchy rashes in moist areas, like between fingers, toes, under breasts, and around the groin. Just like using soap for dirty hands, doctors might suggest some antibiotics or antifungal creams or pills in order to remove the infection. But if you don't keep your blood sugar under control, these infections can keep happening. Eruptive zontomatosis is another sign that you might have if you have diabetes as well as high triglyceride. Uncontrolled diabetes is like a messy kitchen where there is food everywhere. When there is too much fat in your blood because of this mess, it can spill onto your skin. It appears as firm yellow pea-like bumps on the skin. The skin surrounding these bumps can become red. By controlling blood fats and sugars with proper medications, these bumps can go away. Another condition that you might experience if you have diabetes is diabetic neuropathy. 
Well, this is not a skin condition per se, but it can cause loss of sensation at your extremities. This can cause unnoticed injuries, which can then lead to skin ulcers and infections. Constant high sugar in our blood can act as a sandpaper rubbing on our nerves. This can wear them down and make us feel numb or tingly, especially in places like our feet. It is similar to how it feels in our feet when we were sitting for too long in one position. So it is essential for people with diabetes to regularly inspect and check their skin for changes. Remember, when it comes to diabetes, the magic key to prevent and treat a lot of these skin problems is to keep your blood sugar levels steady. So make sure that you keep your blood sugar in check and you have a healthy diet, you exercise a bit, and you take your medications regularly. Your skin is like a mirror to your health so let's take good care of it. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and follow for more videos like this. Until the next video, bye.